from Mountain View, California, it's theCUBE, covering the 15th Annual Grow Awards. Brought to you by ACGSV. Hi, Lisa Martin on the ground with theCUBE at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California, for the 15th Annual ACGSV Grow Awards. This is an event with nearly 300 attendees, about 100 plus C levels, and I'm excited to welcome to the Cube for the first time Hannah Kane, the CEO of Alam. Hannah, welcome to the Cube. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. And you, here you are, and I are in the lobby where there is a lot of innovation and collaboration going on right here. So thank you for joining me in this energetic time at the event. Oh, I absolutely love it. You can feel the energy of Silicon you, Valley. Yeah. yeah, you're right, you can. So tell me about, you are the CEO and founder of Elam. Tell me about your company, what you guys do, what makes you different. So we do supply chain excellence. We execute and uh, plan uh, supply chains for very large corporations out of 19 locations globally. We are headquartered right here in Silicon Valley using technology to help our customers be agile and get the products to the right place exactly when their customers need it. And protect their brand, do their risk management and make sure they do everything right in the supply chain. It's super exciting and no other place is technology used better than in the supply chain. So you have founded Elam in the 90s. You have seen a tremendous amount of technology innovation. I mean, it's, things change faster than we can even keep track sometimes. Tell me a little bit about what it has been a facilitator of you as the CEO being headquartered in Silicon Valley and being able to take advantage of technology to grow and scale your business. I think back in the 90s, nobody really realized the potential of technology in supply chain. I mean, supply chain wasn't even a word, and so, I always thought that supply chain could be done much differently than it was done in the old days. And that technology would be the big facilitator of it. So right now we have a lot of more, more, much more uh, visibility in supply chain. We can see where products are, etc. But we've also increased the complexity of the supply chains. Driven down the cost of product, but also at the same point of time, driven up the complexity well, with components being shipped all over the world and assembled in one place and distributed to another place. So there's a lot of complexity that only technology can resolve. So being in Silicon Valley, which is the birthplace of technology, is just fantastic when you're in supply chain. It really leverages the innovation that's taking place. And you can, like we said in the when we started, you can feel the energy of the innovation going on here. I read on your LinkedIn profile that you are passionate about excellence, technology, collaboration, and community. And the last two, collaboration and community, really underscore the Association for Corporate Growth Silicon Valley. Tell me about your involvement in ACGSB and what makes this event worthy of your time. So I do believe in collaboration and I think collaboration is a core value in Silicon Valley. I believe that collaborative companies and collaborative people are going to win in the marketplace and also have more fun while doing it, creating much more value. And so in, in ACG Sil Silicon Valley, there's just a lot of collaboration, lots of different points of view, but also a lot of very focused, dedicated business people. And so we get together and uh, get ideas from each other, but also send business to and from each other and use each other as resources. And I also believe apart from collaboration, being resourceful is a, a real winner. You need to be resourceful and be able to make things happen and figure out a way to navigate new, new landscapes. And uh, that's what having these uh, great contacts in, in ACG and other associations in Silicon Valley really do for me. So last question, Hannah, for you is, as a female CEO, a leader in technology, what advice would you give to the subsequent generations of, of women in technology who aspire to be leaders like yourself? I think they should be leaders like themselves, not like me, but like themselves. I think you need to be authentic, bring your own strength to every situation, and uh, I think that's what I really wish for the new generation, that 
many of the women have paved the way such that the new generation can really be themselves and contribute. And I would say focus on what you can contribute and what you can do for the greater community and for business as such. I love that advice, Hannah. Authenticity is such a value. Well, thank you so much for spending some time here with us at this energetic 15th Annual Grow Awards. We appreciate your Absolutely time. Absolutely my pleasure. Thank you. You're watching theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin. Thanks for your time.